it's Ally Mew and I have another wonderful unboxing and I'm so excited to unbox Japan Crate! Japan Crate! Also, please don't mind the noise outside. There is actually someone doing construction. If you guys hear it, I'm so sorry. Anyway, so Japan Crate has all of the Japanese goodies that you would want to try out. And there are so many things that I also haven't tried out myself. Alright, let's get to opening it. Do -do. All right, let's look at the pamphlet. Um, I love how they have little articles about contests, little comic book strips. All right, cool. There's a whole list and I hopefully will be able to uh, figure out which one is which. All right, so the first thing I see is this. I have no idea what this is. This one is Sherbet Pero Cola. This candy is like a mix of American Pop Rocks and Fun Dip. It includes lollipop and some powder for dipping. The lollipop provides sweetness of cola while the powder adds a fizzy punch. Please don't troll me hard. Please don't be like sour, secretly sour. I hate sour stuff. Oh, there's a lot of powder. It just like went up my nose like a little bit. You see the powder and then you see the, I guess this is the lollipop, of course. I guess it kind of tastes like cola. I'm gonna put the powder. Ooh, all the extra diabetes. Ooh, okay. It's not fizzing like Pop Rots to me, at least. Okay, let me try it one more time. Okay. I bet it just tastes like the bubble foam of the fizz when you like have soda. I don't know. It's an interesting taste. This is something I wouldn't seek out myself because I don't have like that sweet tooth. But this is really good for so many people I know. They would love this because they have a freaking sweet tooth. Next thing I see is this. It's like hearts. What is this? It says Capricot. All right. <laughs> we are going to figure out what this is right now. But this is Capricot. Adorable heart chocolates made by Glyco, the same company that makes Pocky. They're slightly crunchy, filled with an airy chocolate. It's like biting into a little chocolate cloud. Let's open it and see what it looks like. Look at that. That is so cute and the little hearts. It's off looking. Look at it. Isn't that cute? Oh. Uh, it's like whipped light chocolate like they said it was. It kind of reminds me of Aero chocolate if you guys ever tried that. It's really good. It's not too sweet like that lollipop, but I really enjoyed this. Um and I think I'm going to inhale all of these and hopefully my mom does not see it cuz she's probably going to eat all I don't want her to have any of this. Oh man, I've seen this before and I've tried this, it's delicious. They're so good. Sakupan Giant Wafer. Sakupanda is back in another form, a giant cookie wafer. Enjoy this creamy, chocolatey goodness in a cute panda form. <laughs> this is yummy. I'm gonna be in a sugar high. Look at it, look at it. I'm gonna eat you, panda. Mm. Mmm, <laughs> got on my teeth. Say, ah, oh, look at it. It's so yummy and it's so crunchy. Don't mind me, I'm gonna finish this. Mm. Up next, I see is shrimp chips. I think a lot of you guys would like this if you guys love seafood. I'm probably gonna have to give it to my parents or my sister because I am allergic to shrimp. I'm allergic to all the shellfish in the world. They are Calbee shrimp chips, a different take on shrimp chips. These are more crunchy and come in four possible flavors, wasabi, hot garlic, yuzu, and black pepper, and original. Wow, that's really cool. Well, we got the original one. I'm pretty sure my sister would love to try all these other ones because she loves these shrimp chips. She always buys them all the time. Shrimp chips, I will Definitely gladly share this with all of you guys since I cannot eat this. Oh my god, I remember these. These remind me of the whistling, the whistling candy. Fue Ramane. Another take on the classic Fue Ramane whistle candy featured in the anime manga Dagashi Kashi. Blow through the small hole, create a loud whistling sound, use them to entertain your friends and family, or annoy them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my parents would love me. Next, I see this little critter. He looks a little hamster. He's like, he looks like he's in thought process. I'm gonna zoom up for you guys to see him. Doesn't he look like he's like, hmm, yes, 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 sir. 
This little guy is all crate bonus. Koa uso no kotsume. An adorable gachapon prize from Amuse, one of Japan's most famous toy prize makers. So they're a group of adorable characters highlights the cutest little river dwellers, otters. So they're supposed to be otters? I thought this was like a little hamster, but I guess it's a little otter. Getting so much love because this is also shrimp flavor. I saw the giant shrimp and uh, my heart dropped. I'm like, less food for me. Um, this looks like Pringles to me. I can probably pop it open so you guys can see it. It does look like Pringles. It looks and kind of slightly smells like Pringles. Uh, it does not smell fishy at all. It smells like actually potato chips. Um, let me read about this lovely chip. Chip star Ebi Kobashi. The resealable tube of potato chips is a lot like American Pringles, but with a tasty Japanese flavor, shrimp. Ah, shrimp! Why? Why shrimp? No, I wanna eat. Have next is gummies. These are fruit. These are things that I can eat. These are fruit shop gummy. Each fruit gummy tastes just like the fruit that it's shaped after. Just the right size squishiness and sweetness. Wow, gummies. I'm gonna eat an orange one. Eat the takimas. Kinda looks like a shrimp, but I know it's not a shrimp. It's an orange slice. It looks like one too. They're really gummy. Mm. It's really good. This is gonna disappear really fast. Well, this is such a cute packaging. I wonder what this is. Puru mochi grape. Puru mochi comes in several different fruit flavors. These square, sugar-coated, chewy candies are super oishi, meaning delicious. Ooh, I can't wait to eat it, and it's cube-shaped. <gasps> and they're all individually packaged. Look at that. Ah, it looks so good. Do you guys see it? So I'm gonna open this and try it out. It looks so good. Reminds me of this gummy thing I used to eat when I was young. Mmm, it like just goes right through it and it's so gooey. Okay, it has a little sourness to it. The outside a little bit. Other than that, this is really good. Oh, the sourness, help. I need an adult. Next is this little, little teeny tiny thing. As a gum, I have no idea, but that's like the first thing that I think of. This is one, two, three green apple gum. An example of old-fashioned Japanese candy, this little pack of gum is meant to fit well in a small pocket to be enjoyed on the go. Alright, I guess I'm gonna try it out. It's in a like, little small little starburst shape. Hopefully, it'll be yummy. It's slightly hard. Very, very subtle apple flavor. So it's not overwhelming, it's not sugary. I feel my mouth getting tired from chewing this gum. It's a mouthful and that's what she said. <laughs> definitely if you want to work out your jaw, this is definitely tiring out my jaw a little bit. Wait, let me see if I can blow a bubble. Up next we have this crazy looking banana. It looks crazy. <laughs> wow, such banana, that's what it's called. Back by popular demand, this fun snack is a banana flavored marshmallow with chocolate cream filling. A little reminiscent of the American Twinkie. Not like uh, what I thought it would be. It's all covered with chocolate. It's really interesting to have banana chocolate covered marshmallow with chocolate inside of it. I'm not gonna lie. This is really good. I would eat all of this. If there was like a stack full of this, I would eat this. This is actually oddly weird combination. You're so weird, but you taste so good. Next is this weird looking one. It looks like hand fives or slap gummy thing. I have no idea what it is. This thing is rock, paper, scissor gummy. A gummy hand that comes from the shape of a rock, paper, or scissors. Try to guess which shape you'll get and open yours with a fellow subscriber to play. I'm gonna assume I get a hand. What do you guys assume before I open it? Gonna give you a couple seconds. All right, I'm gonna open it. I think I'm getting a hand, but who knows? Well, like, like this, like paper, whatever. I, that's what I meant, not just a hand. <laughs> and lo and behold, I get scissor. Oh man, and there's like a star. I'll try the star. I'm a star. I like it, it's really gooey. It tastes like soda. It actually does taste like cola. Let's slap someone with this. You wanna get slapped? <laughs> Next thing I spy is this really cute pink panda looking thing. Um, Waku Waku Zoo Animal Do It Yourself. Waku Waku is an anima onomatopoeia for the sound of excitement. We hope this mouse uh, do it yourself kit makes you Waku Waku. Create your own animal zoo with this fun kit. Find out how on page 19. 
Okay, I will look at 19 and hopefully I'll figure it out. At least this is a lot more easier than the friendship bracelet from the, the Doki Doki box. Oh my god, these are so cute. Look at that. The little bear little things. I bet I can use this to make chocolates too. <gasps> it's a bear and a giraffe. And there's little sticks. And then there's these. Last but not least, I think this is a pineapple something, pineapple drink, pineapple soda. Pineapple can only grow in the Japan's tropical island, Okinawa. Fruits in Japan are generally expensive due to the fact that they can't grow in Japan's mountainous terrains. Pineapple flavored drinks and snacks are a great way to enjoy it. Yes, I'm gonna enjoy this while my neighbors do some renovations. Imagine seltzer and imagine light pineapple taste. This is really light and I like the fact that it's not sugary and it's very light pineapple and I'm enjoying it and hopefully I'm getting transported away in the Bahamas right now or to Okinawa. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing. Can you guys tell me what my favorite thing in this box today is? I can tell you what my unfavorite thing about my life today is there is construction going on since I woke up, yay! But I'll give you guys a couple seconds, and hopefully they won't make any noise to distract you, but my favorite thing is probably that pineapple drink soda that I drank. I don't know why, but I think it's because it's light and refreshing, and it wasn't sugary, and it certainly cleansed my palate, and it, it just refreshed me so much. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, please don't forget to check out Japan Crate. I got the premium box. It had so much more goodies, so if you guys are really interested, don't forget to check the link right here. I'll probably put it in the comment box below, but I enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me eat. I'm so sorry. I would totally share with you guys. And anyway, I hope you guys have a nice day, and I hope you guys don't have construction while I'm yelling over it. And bye! Bye! I wanna kill them! <laughs>